Hey guys, Alicia here and welcome to another video. I hope you are all safe and I hope you're all doing well. Crazy times, we have a lot to talk about today. Um, we'll, we'll get there, let's start with this painting. I'm really excited about this one because it's a bit of a community project. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a downloadable version of this sketch that I'm painting right now. If you would like to paint it yourself, you can download the image, print it out, you can transfer it to watercolor paper or color it digitally, or do whatever you want with that sketch. Uh, color it however you would like. Um, that's a bit of my gift to you as a lot of us are kind of stuck inside at home right now. I thought it could be a fun way to just do something together and paint together. I do have hashtag over on Instagram, that's paint with Arlie if you would like to use that hashtag so that everybody can see what you do with the sketch and I can check it out as well. I'm doing my best to like and comment on all of the posts that are made with the hashtag and I will be sharing some of my favorite pieces in my story on Instagram. So if you would like to participate, the sketch is available for you and um, yep, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am painting this one with my White Knights watercolors. I had some specific goals in mind and well, I guess we can talk about those now. My primary goal was that I wanted the leaves to be more of the focal point for the painting and have the face and the background just kind of fade back together. So I wanted to use more desaturated colors for the face and for the background and then allow the most contrast and the most saturation for the leaves. So once I got a few base layers down for the background and the face I wanted to work on. I wish I could tell you that they were from a particular kind of plant, but they're kind of not. I just doodled a leaf shape that I liked and uh, painted them with colors that I liked. I'm definitely feeling like my skill level with foliage is where my skill level with portraits was like a year or so ago, a year and a half ago, something like that. So I'm definitely not as good at painting foliage the way I would like to as I can with um, faces and skin tones and that sort of thing, but that's okay. This is how we get better is just by practicing and by doing it. This piece took me a long time to actually finish. I painted it over the course of three days, even though the total footage only added up to like an hour and a half of footage, which meant that I spent a lot of time during those three days not painting. It's been pretty stressful around here for us with everything that's going on. I definitely don't want to drag you guys down with all of the details, but I will talk about it a little bit because it's going to affect mm, things here for a little while. So because of the virus outbreak, my daughter is home from school. We originally thought that was just going to be a couple of weeks, and a couple of weeks has stretched into who knows how long, but it's okay because she's only in kindergarten and, and it looks like she's going to be doing lots of her school type learning things from home for a while, which is really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to be a part of her learning even more than we already are. She's a super smart kid and I'm really looking forward to investing that time with her. It's affecting everybody else in the family as well, not just the school thing, but just everything. And as a result of general stressors on my family and just the greater need for attention and family time, I'm going to be taking a break for a little while. My plan is to take a break for the month of April, and I'm just going to spend that time um, focusing on my daughter's schoolwork and spending time with my little boy who's not in school yet, but he needs some extra love during this time too, and just kind of balancing the family workload with my husband and just keeping things in balance, you know? Because during this time, holding on to our loved ones is kind of the best thing that we can do, and just letting those people know that we're there for them and we're giving them our time and our love and our attention. So I'm going to do that for my family for a while. I'm going to be shutting down my shop for the month of April, and I'm also going to be pausing Patreon. I won't be making any new YouTube videos for the next month, and um, yeah, I might still be posting over on Instagram if I make art that I feel like sharing, so if you would like some potentially more regular updates, you can check things out over there.
I was planning to take some time off in April anyway, as we had originally planned a nice cabin trip vacation for next weekend, actually. But because of everything that's going on, we had to cancel that trip. That's okay, it'll just be a staycation instead, and we'll spend time together as a family at home. And I'm looking forward to that also. Normally, I would also say that this piece is available for sale and you can find prints and blah, 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 blah and all that stuff. Uh, but as of right now, that's not true. That's okay. When I come back, I'll probably list it for sale and make prints available. It is the high res digital download for Patreon. There's actually two this month. I wanted to give something a little extra to my patrons. And I will also be uploading the real-time version of this painting to Patreon as well. My patrons have been sending in their questions just like we do every month for a real-time Q&A video, so I'm going to be answering those questions in the real-time video as soon as I'm done recording this voiceover, probably, and getting that up for my patrons. So if you'd like to check any of that out, you can, but again, no pressure as I know that this is a tough time for a lot of people financially and otherwise. So I hope that this video and this little Paint with Arlie community project can be um, a nice relaxing thing for anyone who chooses to watch this video or to participate in that. I can't wait to see what you guys make and what you guys create. It's gonna be fun and exciting and I hope that it'll be exciting and relaxing at the same time. Is that a thing? Does that work? I had to really hold myself back when I was painting the details on the face here as I wanted to add lots of saturation and lots of contrast and lots of details like I love to play around with faces usually but I knew that I wanted this one to be able to sit in the background more and I wanted it to not be as important which was a very strange feeling for me but I wanted to try it and challenge myself and see how it would go so I tried to use more desaturated colors and also colors that would mix with the background a bit more so kind of focusing more on blues and greens and there was a terrifying point in this painting we haven't gotten there yet but you'll see it where I put a wash over the entire face of blue and it was a little bit scary ultimately the effect was pretty subtle, I think, but it was just enough to push the face back a little bit. And yeah, 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 yeah. I don't paint with greens very often, like actually painting green subject matter. I add greens to skin tones quite regularly as I really like how they balance and round things out with reds and browns in the skin. So that's usually a nice thing for skin tones. It's weird for me to say that I feel less comfortable painting green things like leaves than I do painting green on a face, but that's just how it's been because of just what I do more often. It's not very often that I sit here trying to think of what I want to say for the next several minutes while this painting is going. I mean, usually I I'm, I have to cut out bits of voiceover so that it fits within the video, but this time I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of tired and ready to enjoy some time with my family and relax for a bit. I hope you guys are feeling the same in that you're ready for a break and hopefully some of you will have an opportunity for that break and I hope it's not too stressful for you. My husband and I have been talking a lot about decisions we want to make and you know, just regular life things and how we're going to handle stuff. And the philosophy we've kind of been leaning on is A, either it's the end of the world, in which case that future thing that we're worrying about doesn't really matter, or B, it's not the end of the world, in which case it doesn't really matter because we'll adjust and we'll settle and we'll figure it out. So if it's the end of the world, doesn't matter. If it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the world. And we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. And 
um, I don't know. That's, that's what we've been doing. I hope it works for you guys. Maybe it'll work for you too. So I don't know. Weird, weird times, weird stuff. If you've got kids, hug them. If you've got a significant other, hug them. Don't hug your neighbors. Don't hug strangers. Don't hug anybody in public. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go um, finish this video so that I can play more Animal Crossing because I have been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. I played New Leaf on uh, my Nintendo 2DS XL that has a Pikachu on it and I loved Animal Crossing New Leaf. I don't know how we got to this point in the conversation, but we have. But anyway, I was really excited about New Horizons and and of course um, pre-ordered it, played it as soon as it came out, and have been absolutely loving doing that. I've been getting to play it with the kids too, and they love it. They love getting to run around and shake trees, pick up fruit, and talk to little animals, and it's been good times overall. Okay, I think that's all I have to say for today. I don't really need to um, keep on keep on rambling. I hope you guys are good. I hope you're safe, and I hope that you can find peace in the next little while. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, and it's gonna be okay. Alright, I'm gonna take a break. I love you guys, and I will talk to you in a little while. Okay, bye-bye.